Believe it or not guys, this is KSP-1 and in today's episode we will be building this plane and explore this beautiful volumetric clouds added to the KSP-1 by the user Blackcrack who is modifying them for the environmental visual enhancements. So yeah, stick around, this is gonna be awesome. All right, so first things first and completely unrelated, I'm gonna unlock the subsonic flight so I get the propeller blades and all things needed. And then I will be building a proper, oh no, a turbo prep plane that will be reminiscent. I was actually going for the design that would be reminiscent of maybe, I don't know, MiG-15 or MiG-17 or something like that. So, you know, a completely um, intake at the nose and then stubby wings and a small ta tailplane. The only sad part is that there is no direct uh, tail that would look like this and still have a turbofan engine protruding from it. So it is, as you said, it's a very unique design and so it's very hard to do it. So I was first designing this and it took me a while and I've balanced out everything and make it look really, really, really pretty. The only downside is that a little bit later on I realized one crucial thing. Well, this plane doesn't have an engine. Yes, and, our, uh, and I hear you saying, well, ground forks, you big doofus, of course it doesn't have an engine. You could put the engine at its wings, but then it wouldn't be any longer the MiG-17 or MiG-15 design. So, you know, with the one centrally placed engine and so and so. So I'm actually just gonna be placing a lot of science experiments because I hope I will be able to conduct those once I land. And then I'm gonna be playing test plane number two. So then we put the undercarriage, of course, and then we put another set of wheels and this actually took more than I would like to admit with fiddling so I decided to cut it out this was basically making it simple now when I started to going and reviewing this I realized like I said that the plane doesn't have an engine and I said oh shoot so I only have the shoots and the intake Okay, so we have to figure out where will we be placing an engine. So basically I unstuck this and I, then I wanted to put the turbofan Weasley engine at the back. And then it looked a little bit too stubby. So I decided I'm gonna put another fuselage. Okay, yeah, well that's not ideal, but I still need my control surfaces. So I needed to, I needed to do something like that. And yeah, so yeah, it's a compromise and I've actually emptied completely out the liquid fuel. That's it. Now let's go and enjoy the new and beautiful volumetric clouds. I have deliberately put that, that there is a dawn and there we go, getting ready and hit it. Oh yeah, look at it go, beautiful. There we go, taking off into the sunrise. I must say, guys, I'm really impressed by the volumetric clouds as developed by Blackrack. They're still an experimental version, and if you guys want to get them, I don't know if they will be experimental when this video goes live, but if you want to get them, you can get it by supporting him on Patreon. It is a minor fee, but uh, come on, I mean, guys, that guy does awesome clouds. Look at this. It's just amazing. I mean, it's breathtaking. It's all I ever wanted in the clouds from the KSP. Let's do a flippity, yeah, all right. Beautiful. I mean, seriously, look at that. Uh, I know KSP2 is just around the corner, but this seriously sets it up so it looks damn gorgeous. There we go, let's do some, you know, shenanigans. All right, beautiful, look at it go. Okay, let's turn towards now the, uh, the moon. And oh, look at it! This is now. This is a scene. Ah, amazing. Morning sun up the rear, and the beautiful moon straight in front of you. I'm telling you guys, it doesn't get much better than that. Now I have turned my plane in that direction deliberately because there's like highlands and mountain biome that I haven't explored. And I figured what better way to show off this beautiful volumetric clouds than just going right away and all the way there. Beautiful. Now that reminded me that actually, look at that KSC below. 
Yeah, and this cloud layer also adds an, a layer of obtrusion, so you don't exactly see the KSC beneath you. So I think that also adds a little bit to the immersion and the sense of scale. Oh, look at this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at the moon. Man, this shot was amazing. Yeah. All right. So we are going in that general direction. I have no idea where the mountains are because the cloud layer is actually quite high. It can be high and low and it can be rainy and whatnot. So, but I mean, this is beautiful. The only suggestion that I would have, if it would be possible, is that the wing tips create some sort of vortex when you're going through the clouds, that they interact with the clouds, because I think that would be an added layer. But I mean, even this is impressive. Look at it on the left hand side. There's the rain over there, if you, if you can tell. So we are going towards these mountains, as and as you can tell, they are just briefly almost piercing the rains. There is actually a valley here, almost like a volcanic crater, and I intend to land there, however crazy it may sound. I do have my, uh, I do have my landing system, which is lovingly called parachute, so I fully intend to use that one. Yeah. Trust me, with these trees, I really don't intend to use a chute. And I hope for, and I'm hoping that this chute will able to get us semi-stalled. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be reversing thrust, and I'm gonna be shutting down the engine because I'm trying to decelerate, putting the parachutes, and then I'm gonna try and stall the plane. So I'm just gonna go pitch, pitch up until we stop, stall, and there we go. Okay, the chute has opened and I intend that we will be landing rather soon. I mean, look at it. I'm wondering, are you using any graphical mods? If so, do let me know in the co Oh boy. Okay, well, I didn't expect that many crashed things and I was hoping that I could get more science out of it, but I'll take what I can get. So EVA, surface sample and whatnot. Right, guys, that's, I think... <laughs> I think that's enough science for today. Let's get in and let's get our stand recovered. There we go, 100 science. It's not something to be sneezed at. So with that thing being said, I will be seeing you all guys in the next episode. And until then, Stian has gotten some very, very important ribbons. So Stian, are you ready for the next assignment? Yes, you are. You have gotten 3000 Mountain Lander and G4 Street. Okay, see you in the next one.